All right, I got to hurry up and tell you this part because my boss just left out and I'm on break. So, technically, I'm not on the clock. So, she like, yeah, yeah. All that shit she was talking on the phone. She was talking on the phone. I'm like, so, I'm looking at her like, what did you say on the phone, right? She was like, I didn't say nothing. I just told her, this is my motherfucking man. I don't know nothing about her. And whatever she want to do, we could do. She was the one talking about pulling up and all that. And I just said, I didn't care. Well, maybe you should have cared. Maybe you should. Because that's why you over here looking like you got your ass beat the fuck up, threw out a car, rolled over, nigga picked up, slammed back down, bitch, and rolled over again. She like, nah, fuck that, fuck that, I need that, I need that. So at this point, the police like, man, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, what the fuck? Like, they like, we tired of this shit, we about to go. Whatever the fuck y'all gonna do, if we gotta come back, everybody going to jail, point blank, period. So now my sister then eased over there by the girl, right? So the girl like, no, no, some real shit, let me talk to y'all. Cause y'all seem real, let me talk to y'all. I'm like, okay, but me and my sister, we standing like side by side, but got enough space, like, Nigga, if she take off on you, I can take off on her type shit, right? Because this a big bitch. So, so then at home, we tell her, shut up. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm talking about? Get the band-aids and get bandaged the fuck up and shut the fuck up. Because you, you, you're losing, right? Oh, girl, like, yeah, nah, this bitch, she be texting the phone all times at night. She disrespectful. I done called her phone several times. This bitch playing stupid, blase, blase. She be talking real hard and all that. She was like, yeah, that's why when y'all pulled up, I was kind of on guard because she was like, wait till my homegirls pull up. What homegirls? Us? Oh, baby, ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> I don't. We don't want these problems. Let me tell you something. I know when to pick my motherfucking battles. <laughs> bitch, and I just turned 41. I'm not finna be fighting this young ass 20 some year old bitch that's about 6'3 to 6'5, 325 pounds. Bitch, I don't have no gun on me. Bitch, I ain't even got no bear mace right now. Bitch, <laughs> I fucked up. I'm not getting this. So then I'm like, all right, so we go in the room, right? We go in the room. I tell the nigga, man, come on. He like, man, she crazy. I'm like, she finna beat your ass. I'm like, you just got my homegirl ass with. He like, I told her don't call. I told her, I told her she don't listen. She like, I don't care. I love you. I love you. I'm like, man, you better chill the fuck out. She like, nah, fuck that. Remind you. She don't even realize, nigga, her face is shut down. Bitch, she, it, bitch. Her fucking face is sitting sideways like my mama's face was when she had that stroke. I'm talking about, bitch, what is you doing? What? And you didn't tell this girl we was going to come help? I ain't finna help do shit but escort you to the motherfucking hospital so you can get banished the fuck up because you done got lumped the fuck up. You understand? She has really lumped, lumped. She has, oh my mama, oh my fucking soul. She has beat the shit out of you. Like, literally beat your ass. And you sit up here talking shit and talking about you love this nigga. And this nigga talking about, can, can y'all drop me off at my mama house? At your mama house. I told him, you got some gas money. He said, yeah. I said, come on. But let me tell you what happened next. 